Well, I've been keeping it one out for some time now, roughly a year and a half now, I think. I got this dude like 2022 June, I believe. So today, I'm going to teach you guys on how to differentiate a high back arona and also a cross back too. So if you guys are looking forward to get and golden arona, so we mainly have the two types. We got a high back and we got a cross back, but there is significant difference between uh, them in terms of price and also appearance too. So hold this video, teach you guys some things. All right, first let's talk about the uh, doubt first. As you guys can see, over here I have a high back arowana. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six level of scale. So as you guys can see. The golden color and also the scale color, basically the base color for this dude is over until 4th. The 5th and the 6th are basically dark without any color. So this one is a high back. Whereas if you're getting a cross back adult, it will cross all the way to the top. The top, there's usually two conditions. Either there's only the golden uh, edge or it has a blue base or it has both. But basically, if the top fin, if the top scale over there, there's like golden color or let's say the base color is there, generally they are a, considered a cross back arowana. Here you guys can see this is my younger arowana. Okay, so the base color is not very full yet, but as you can see, his the golden scale is all the way to the fifth and slightly on the sixth one. But just a bit. The reason being that this dude is still like uh, young and small, so chances are it won't develop the golden color and the base color all the way to the six scale that fast. But generally, this is a six seven inch arowana. So during this size, supposedly they will have at least uh, fifth level of the coloring and also the scale color. So this is how they will differentiate them. Alright, we talked about adult just now, so now we're gonna differentiate the younger one. The younger one is a bit harder because generally when you get an L1 from the pet shop, you usually got them from a smaller size, roughly 3 to 4 inch. So during those periods, chances are they won't develop their color and also the base color and also the scale color yet. So during this period, it's a bit harder to differentiate because they will be very like, I would say, uh, dull in color, not like a golden color, not like a blue color, just like a normal white color maybe. So during this period, it's a bit harder to see the arowana um, standard, either it's a high back or the cross back. But what you can do is we can do a cleaning with the empty tank or we say a white tank. All right. So let me show you guys this. So as you guys know, just now I said that the high back, the top four, uh, fifth and sixth scale, generally they are black in color. Okay, so let's say the sixth scale is uh, dark as well, they will be considered high back arowana. As long as there's no color on the sixth scale, they will be considered a high back. So during a younger time, you can do what we call a uh, cleaning. So during that time, you will wash the, we call it washing the arowana color. So if a uh, and arowana have the potential to become a high a cross back arowana the entire fish will be like um, white in color but let's say if the fish is just a high back arowana it will be something like this but with the uh, first to fourth or fifth scale uh, being uh, there's a uh, white color only and the sixth scale or the fifth scale is dark in color so usually they will do that but chances are those are not really accurate to you. So during a younger time, it's a bit harder to differentiate. All right, so lastly, how do you get, how do you avoid get, getting cheated from the pet shop? So first of all, the best um, way is to get from a um, good supplier, a good pet shop that you trust or you always get there and you get good quality fish there, which both of them that I get from the different shop, this one I got from a, like a family, uh, pet shop. This one I got from a uh, national company. So 
when I bought this the crossback, I do have concern that is it not a crossback. But generally speaking, from the development currently, I do think that they are not lying because it does develop until the fifth scale already, which is good for this size. So I hope that maybe in next year time, I will see him having a crossback already. And of course, we got the second choice being that you buy adult but adult is significantly more expensive let's say you're buying an adult high bag like this so in Malaysia the young one will cost you like 200 something and this adult will cost you like six seven hundred maybe and then a young cross bag will cost you like 300 plus and then for an adult cross bag it might cost you upwards of a thousand or a thousand plus so it's just generally see how you want to get a fish let's say you want to bet it well you can bet it like me but you do try to get it from a good seller a good supplier but let's say you don't want to take the risk of course you buy an adult with certificate because chances are even though they the young fish from the farm right even though they have the certificate stating that they are crossback there is chances that they won't have a crossback because of the genetic defect so do see your luck, yeah. But there is one last way, being you getting a golden head. Why? The golden head, they are. I'm not a breeder, first of all. It's either they get it from two ways. First of all, they got the like medication. Second way is that they use like um, family. I uh, I would say human breeding method. So for the golden head, if you guys see my, I don't want to head over here. It's black. Same goes to the one at the bottom. So. Generally speaking, in the wild, anyone will have like a leg head. But for those that has been in captive breeding for a while, or let's say they add some, you know, um, substance inside, they will have a golden head. And the golden head is definitely having a crossback because they have been like uh, changed by the hu their genetic has been changed by humans. So you can get that too as a third option. But a golden head will be much more expensive. A young one will cost you like upwards like. 800 something and an adults definitely cost you like few thousand ringgit so it does see you it does depend on how you guys want to get a fish too so hope you guys like the advice